<sighs> Welcome to another edition of More Shaw TV. <clears throat> I'm your host, Brother Dog Bay. Smash that like. It's 3.05 a.m. in the UK. And Murray V is chilling with me. <laughs> also, we have Uncle G chilling with me. We also have King M O A B chilling with me. Yes, yes, yes. How are y'all doing today? Everybody all right? Michael Connor in the building. Anybody heard any news about Grandmaster Jay? Listen, anybody ever has anybody ever seen a Fed case go like this? Have y'all been following this? Anybody ever see a Fed case go like that? Happy born day to my main man, Michael Connor. Huh? Happy born day. hope Leonard Wilson had a half good day since he wanted to come on here. Good to see you on time. Hope your day was half good. Now, how about that? So, has anybody, do anybody ever file, follow uh, criminal trials? I'm going to tell you off the top. I have never seen a federal case move at this pace me. That's right, Leonard Wilson. I hope you had a half good day. Talk about how late I am. You know how we do. You know I mean? I'm taking my time today, you know what I mean? Thanks to my brother, Arn Man. Arn Man! The cash app early. That is my radio voice. Anyway, I want to I wanna, I wanna open some dialogue tonight. Don't it seems Sadiel, Sadiel, you supposed to call me. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm setting up for something. I'm going to tell you all about this. I'm setting up for something. I'm going to tell you something about this. Um, so on my other channel, Morse Road TV 7, if you haven't subscribed to it, let me put y'all on with this real quick. See y'all the link. Morse World TV 7. I need y'all to go over there to subscribe. It's getting heated over there. Y'all hear what I say? Y'all hear what I say? It's getting heated over that demonstration. So I put out a video. I did a presentation the other day. And buddy, 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 I didn't got some people heated. I'm talking about on fire. So the same thing that I do over here on Morse Road TV as I address the misinformation, the bad information, the manipulation, and the playing around, I also address that in the Moorish community. You know what I mean? <laughs> like the brother radio say, great work you do, my bro. Keep putting the pressure on them imposters. Well, I also do that in the Moorish community. And in Baltimore, there's a, a group of brothers that uh, follow the teachings, which is called the Resurrection Morris Science Temple of America. And on my channel, the other day, I think it was Sunday. Oh my goodness. I did a, a presentation. If you haven't seen it, let me see if I can screen share it for you. If you haven't seen it and you are familiar with Moorish and all of the weird stuff that is taught under Moorish, I implore you to go and check it out. Here it is right here. It's called Lies Taught by Former Moorish Leaders That Diluted the Prophet's Teachings. So many of y'all haven't heard about Prophet Noble Drew Ali, um, and it's by design because most of what you hear about Prophet Noble Drew Ali has been diluted. You know what I mean? And it's right here. 
on Moore's World TV 7. Uh, I just put the link in there. I'm telling you, this one has set up. <laughs> it got people super angry at me. And I've been on the phone all day, off and on, with different people like, brother, you disrespected me. Brother, you disrespected me. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. So it's heated around here in Baltimore right now. I'm trying to tell you. So if you are interested in the Moorish teachings as it relates to the Moorish Science Temple of America, I put the link in there, Moorish World TV 7. Uh, again, it's heating up right now. And, you, and tomorrow I'm going to, listen, tomorrow on Moorish World TV 7, I won't be here. I'll be over there with a live debate with uh, the top of the brass, a supreme, <laughs> a supreme grand chic. This is the top of the brass. <laughs> Tomorrow at six o'clock, we'll be live over there and we'll be face to face. It ain't no, nah, ain't no, <laughs> ain't no computer. We'll be face to face. <laughs> <laughs> the people's grand sheet. That's right. <laughs> I, I tell you, hey, it's gonna be something tomorrow. So if y'all ain't subscribed, go over there to uh Morse World TV channel seven. It will be I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be heated. It's going because I I disagree with a lot of I disagree with weird stuff. I just do. I mean, people get mad how I say it, but I just disagree. But anyway, I asked the question earlier. Anybody heard any updates on Grandmaster J? Y'all remember all of them thousands of people? And you mean tell me there is not one person that keeping track of what's going on with Grandmaster J? Why do you sound like this? How do I sound? Somebody say, Hi, why do you sound like this? How do I sound? I sound messed up? Let me see how I sound. Hold up. Alexandra say, why do you sound like this? Let me check. Let me see. Let me see if I sound. All of them thousands of people. And you mean tell me there is not one person. I sound pretty good, Alexandra. What's going on with Grandmaster J? Where are all these people at? Y'all remember this? I'm going to share a few videos first. You know what I mean? Y'all remember this? This is this is odd to me that we don't get to see um, none of these people, man, that were standing for standing with Grandmaster Jay. This is very odd to me, for real. You know what I mean, oh, I don't even see at my videos. So yeah, let me see if I can pull one up. Alexandria E say it sounds weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I do. I'm just coming off of, I'm just coming off of uh, being under the weather. I was in, I don't know what it was, but I'm just coming off. But I just keep, I keep on pushing. I keep on pushing. But yeah, absolutely. I'm just coming off of uh, some sort of cold or something. I don't know what it was, but hey, I just keep on pushing. I hope I don't sound like I'm in auto-tune. I sound like I'm in auto-tune. <laughs> With Kenzie Rahel. Salute my brother, and I salute you. One sip of kombucha a day, keep the haters away. <laughs> so, so family, listen, I appreciate each and every one of y'all, but I want to get into this in real quick because I'm trying to figure out if anybody ever seen a federal case like this. I have never seen a federal case in my life that I've been watching and paying attention to this stuff that. First of all, the court date when he was supposed to go to court kept jumping around. Anybody remember that? It kept jumping around. And people asked, well, what about the van? What about the van? Don't worry about the van. Can you get them to keep a court date the same date? You feel me? That, listen, every time... Oh, man. Yeah, somebody said, yes, did you see Inky? I'm glad y'all communicate with me. Shout out to show from the shot. Roast them, the people's ranch. Ah, oh, man, Inky looking real bad out here. 
Aki looking real bad out here. But yeah, he. he but I don't even think Inky. I don't even think Inky is making any money right now, and I think he's flushing money down the toilet in his investment to try to bamboozle people that have been bamboozled, and those that haven't been bamboozled is hip to the game. Like so, he's investing his money uh, to try to promote himself. Um, but ain't nobody buying. That. Ain't nobody buying it. Like, come on, man. Like, like for real. With with that with with person, man. If you get sick with something. It's most importantly, diabetes, man. All that research, thousands of years that people got for a uh, 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 diabetic, man. You better go to a, a doctor that specializes in that. You better not go on the internet and listen to no inky. You know what I mean? <laughs> that one, you crazy if you go listen to some inky. Shout out to M. Nugent in the building. If you go back out and listen to some inky, that sounds crazy. Somebody said, I missed the court date for a traffic ticket in the war. But but listen, so if y'all haven't been following this, right, so back in, I think it was May, if I'm not mistaken, I forget what it was, exactly what it was. Uh, what up, Johnny Do-Right? Back in May, he had a court date, and the court date kept bouncing around. And you never find out until the last minute. Now, today I found out, let me see if I can, today I found out and it was just today. Now, the court date was today for him to be sentenced. You know what I mean? But today I found out on a on a on a on a fly that he would not be going to court today. But you know, all of that fanfare, nobody knows nothing. I'm telling you, something going down. Y'all think it's a game, something going down. I ain't never seen no federal case act like this. The, the court date come up, and then it's a week later. Then it come up again, and then two days later. They change the date. They change the date. <laughs> and then the sentencing date come up, and they change the date. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like this. Hold up one second. So the update on this right now is, if I can find it, so let me tell you, this is where I this is what I found. All right. I found this on a not so busy website. I mean, a not so busy social media page today. Because I wanted to, I, I'm gonna tell you the, the truth. I was planning to go there, me and my son. And I was like, hold up, I'm not hearing nothing. I'm not hearing nothing. I wasn't going to tell nobody how I was going to move, but, you know what I mean, I was going to blah, 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 here we go. Shh. People talking about where the van at, the van going to gas up. Actually, I don't have the van no more. I, 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 I went into something else that can get us where we need to go because we need to grow incognito. <laughs> You know what I mean? We need to roll in cognito. Let me, I put the band on the screen. Ah, oh, look, I got the band. And I'm like, ah, oh, man, them haters, I just put a, I just put a target on me with these haters. <laughs> I was like, I was showing the band. Ah, oh, I got the band. I got the, I said, God, look at I'm slipping. <laughs> I'm slipping up something. I said, oh, no, nah, no, nah, we can't do that. <laughs> Just you might say bright yellow Corvette. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, nah, man, I'm slipping, man. Y'all tripping. I ain't doing this. <laughs> um, somebody should check on the grape. He don't handle dates. He doesn't handle date date change as well. <laughs> but look. <laughs> OC the great, OC the great might <laughs> say, hey, you right. <laughs> OC the great might be might be going through it right now. <laughs> they changed the date. <laughs> they changed the date. But look, so what I found is on another website, not on on a, on a, on a, on a not so popular um what up, Nikki Love? On a not so popular social media, in small print today, I found out, and this was posted four days ago, but I just found it today. I'm a professional troll. 
It says, the one accord weekend concludes with the horns of Jericho to both liberate and exonerate Grandmaster J on his newly changed sentence date, November the 9th. Now what happened, they initially had scheduled this, the free Grandmaster J uh, march, but they ain't do no advertisement, blew me away. So it was originally Friday night, August the 19th, like a thief in the night, a knife of prayer, they were going to pray. They're going to pray to the Lord. Remember that month? They definitely was going to pray to the Lord. Um, And then they had the march that was going to be Saturday on the, the 20th. And then the Horns of Jericho Sunday was going to be the 21st. Now, on the 22nd, he was supposed to be sentenced. And that was today. And this was, the, this was with the flyer that they put up. But the funny thing is, is that this flyer just surfaced four days ago. And then the funnier, funnier thing about this, that I think we've been catfished. <laughs> that, this, that this small social media page that's putting out this information is basically putting out propaganda. You feel me? They're putting out propaganda because this flyer was put out just four days ago on IG. It's called Black Revolutionary or something. You feel me? And and I, I found it as I was trolling. I mean, but this was put out four days ago. Four days ago, we are talking about the 18th. And so they put it out the 18th for the 19th. And there ain't no fanfare. Where all the Grandmaster j at? There ain't nowhere. But then today, I think they added to the flyer with the new date. So they're going to do all of these things, exonerate him on the change sentence date, November the 19th. So this was added, if I'm not mistaken. Matter of fact, let me see if I can bring y'all the um the actual the actual demonstration that was written underneath of it all right let me let me see if i can find the actual demonstration the actual demonstration that was written underneath of it so yeah yeah, yeah i think we was catfished you know what i mean somebody somebody uh uh, uh got uh, uh uh gmj uh um best interest at heart they doing really good they doing really good Hold on, let me see what this is I think this is it right here. All right. Let me stop that for a minute. I'm going to read it to y'all. Oh, man, y'all didn't lock up on me, did we? All right. All right, let me read it to y'all real quick. All right. Here we go. Y'all can go check this yourself. Oh, that's K Money. <laughs> yeah, K Money. <laughs> K Money got the, she got all the good stuff. All right, let me see. All right, here we go. Let me pull it up. Bang. Hold up. Okay. There we go. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Y'all remember K Money? K Money used to be mad at me. Goodness and gracious. Okay, here it is. All right, now let me screen share. So this is what it said. Now watch this. Yeah, we got Nikki Love. We got catfish. They don't want us to know what's going on. <laughs> I think this K Money demonstration. So look. Black Self Defense Coalition, Shalom family. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night for the beginning of the One Accord weekend with Like a Thief in the Night prayer, which will be spearheaded by K Money Spoken Word on her YouTube channel. So <laughs> I think we was catfished by K Money. This was her been on her YouTube channel. <laughs> That's why they go nowhere. <laughs> K Money catfished us. 
We thought they was going. <laughs> we thought they, we thought we was going to see another Louisville. She doing this on the three member YouTube channel. Oh man, she got me. She got me. I thought I found. I thought I found jackpot. <laughs> Hey, Crip, she got me, Crip. I thought this flyer was full. <laughs> Did y'all see what just happened? I thought this flyer was for actual event. This is K Money. <laughs> this is me. All them thousands of people down in Kentucky. He stuck with K Money and 50 likes. <laughs> man, oh man. This guy stopped. She tricked me. I've been catfished. <laughs> she got me, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I apologize, y'all. She got me, man. I thought I found. I thought I found. Uh, 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 I thought I hit jackpot. This is K Money. She throwing events on her YouTube channel. <laughs> Hold up. Let's read this demonstration. Hold up. Let's read this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Woo! Woo! Only on YouTube. So listen. She said the night of prayer will be spirited by K Money spoken word on her YouTube channel. The base scripture will be Luke 12. And you won't want to miss it. <laughs> we should all go to K Money and get us some views. They're going to be reading from Luke 12. <laughs> Man, you can't make this up. They're going to be. K Money. Oh, man. Oh man, K Money trying to do the midnight mental. <laughs> As it is, like a thief in the night. The midnight mental <laughs> by K Money. <laughs> oh my goodness, K Money. Dang, K Money. Oh man. It says Following this, it is important to note that the free GMJ march will be postponed due to white people acting irrational over the fact that. One of Trump's properties was raided. We do not want to bring our people into that type of environment. A militia don't want to be in that type of environment, especially without our leader who has been taken from us just like a thief in the night. K. Moody is a bad promoter. K. Moody is a janky promoter. She a janky promoter. K. Moody, stop this. Stop him. K. Money. She a janky promoter, man. <laughs> Shasha said, press one, pump your fist. Press two, yell out. Press three if you need help. <laughs> hey, all of those thousand people marching in the name of Breonna Taylor, rolling with Grandmaster Jay, I salute y'all, and I'm glad y'all see things for what it is. Now, out of y'all thousands of people, hundreds, however many, somebody need to get K Money on the line because she ain't letting this thing go. K Money is not going to let this thing go. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what else she got to say. But then it goes down to say, the On the One Accord weekend will be concluded with horns from Jericho in which we will be making as much as ancestral noise as possible to show the ancestors we mean business when it comes to freeing the general and hopes they will continue rewarding us with guidance and protection. Man, listen. <laughs> this this is K-Money. I think this is K-Money. Oh, man. I thought for sure that Grandmaster... J I knew something was funny. 
But but we're going to get into what actually happened in a minute. Let me finish reading this. Let's see, finish reading this. If you would like to continue supporting the Legal Defense Fund, the link to do so is in this bio. Important. If you are trying to put money on GMJ's commissary to afford food and other necessities, the only current way to do so is through money order directly to the facility. Please send a DM if you have any questions or comments. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, money is not playing with y'all. So, so in other words, family, the event is done. It's over. K Money said they're not going to do this online. <laughs> they're not going to do this. Because there's too many white people there that's mad because Trump. <laughs> this is crazy, man. <laughs> This is crazy. Hold up. Let me bring out this other piece. So, but what we did find out was, one second, what we did find out, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I got another thing I want to share with you too. I'm going to share this with you real quick um, before we get to that. Um, recently on social media, there has been a lot of uh, uh, talk about Malik Zulu Shabazz. And I'm watching social media now, and I'm so happy to to uh, to um, to announce that uh, somebody posted that Malik has a Hulu show. I didn't make this mean. I really didn't. So don't you blame me. I did not make this mean. I do not lie. Somebody is passing this around. Now I don't know if it's true or not. Somebody is passing this around. Um, uh, uh, social media, and it says Malik Hulu Shabazz, filled with comedic entertainment the whole family can laugh at. Now, I'm telling you, I did not make this. So don't blame me. I'm just, hold up. I, man, this cold is getting to me. I just realized when I just read it, I thought he was going to be on Hulu, but it's saying Malik Hulu Shabazz. <laughs> Man, I'm getting slow, man. I got to get out this business. <laughs> I got to get out the business of revealing uh, uh, and researching my revelations. Uh, man, nah, I got to get out this. I got to get out this. I'm really thinking that they they saying that Malik got a Hulu show. <laughs> but they said Malik Hulu Shabazz. Man, oh man. Good, good as a gracious. But they got memes uh, flying around the internet, uh, 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 real talk. They got memes flying around the internet. Um, and uh, let me see. That. It's another one that I've seen. I'm going to share these before I get to the other stuff. It's another one that I've seen um, flying around the internet. I think I try to share it with you in a second if I can find it. It's another one that <laughs> these people, man. They ain't playing with Malik no more, man. They, man, Malik, what Malik did to everybody? I thought, they, you know what? There was one time when everybody was mad at me, but I'm so happy to, to report that people are coming around now. You know what I mean? There it is. I think I got it. Hold on. Why is that doing that? All right, here we go. Give me one second. Let me see if I can get that out of here real quick. All right, yeah. So it's, a, it's another one that they shared around before I get into it. Um, and I'm telling you, I did not make these. Please do not accuse me of making these things. I'm too busy to make these things, but I will share it with you. I wouldn't mind if I do. <laughs> I did make these things. I mean, somebody made this. <laughs> this is the stuff going around the internet.
<laughs> Family, I promise you, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't make this. <laughs> Everybody, pull your cameras out. Pull your cameras out. <laughs> I didn't make this stuff. This is stuff. I, I went trolling and I found these things. I didn't make the people who made them. They probably watching this. But I don't want to send y'all to his page or to they page and try to. And try, <laughs> I don't know what this is all about. I didn't make them. They made. Hey, it's a crippin' Sean Sean did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, black girl, black girls read. If you're on Facebook, you probably seen it. You know what I mean? If you're on Facebook, you probably seen it. You know what I mean? So black girls read seen it. Um, all right, let me get this other piece out real quick. Um, so what we did find out, I think, is right here. Now, this is the crazy thing about it that we found out. All right. So Grandmaster J. Actually, do we got any federal, former federal criminals in here? I've never been a federal criminal. We know they say I beat my wife in the back. That's not federal. I, mean, I beat women up. That's not federal. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Remember they were saying that? He's a woman beater. I mean, that's not federal. It's not federal. Anybody, anybody? <laughs> Anybody, anybody dealt with the federal law, man? Do they do they work like this? They keep changing stuff around. That usually happen on the state level. You know what I mean? I don't know. But look, let me show you something. So we just finding out this. <laughs> we just finding out about this stuff today. <laughs> but this is what he put in on 8-2 text order, the court grants the defendant motion to continue sentencing hearing and reschedule the hearing on 8-22-22 to 11-9-22 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time in Louisville Courthouse. The court extends the filing deadlines from its 6 22 order. Council will send PSR objections to the probation office I hear what I just say to the probation office Now, I don't know. Is he going to get probation? Because it appears now that I see this now. It appears that they object to some of the stipulations in a possible probation order. Press seven if you hear what I just said. That's what appears. Let me see. Let me see something real quick. I'm glad I just looked at it down. I'd be too busy to follow this up. Uh, uh, did y'all hear that? Okay. So listen, here we go. I think we got something here. I think we got something here. Here we go. Now this is making sense. Hold up. Here we go. It said council will send pre-sentence report objections to the probation office by 10 one Council must confer regarding scope of hearing by 10 The probation office, here we go. Crypto, are you with me, Crip? Come on, man. Come on, Crip. We broke it down today. We got him. The probation officer 
the probation office will submit the PSR pre-sentence. Um, what did I just say? Pre-sentence something, something to the court by 1030. The party must file memorandum by 11 4. Yeah. So it looks like there's a strong possibility that he's going to get that, 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 that pre sentence report. So it looks like, now I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not an attorney. Just because I'm a Moore doesn't mean I'm an attorney. You Moors know law. No, we don't. No, we don't. You ain't seen none of them beat no cases. They know law on the internet. They don't know law in the courtroom. So don't put that on me. Y'all ever hear that before? Moors know law. I know you know law, Grand Sheik. No, uh uh. Uh uh. Don't put that on me. Uh uh. I know law on the internet like Moors on the internet. I mean, in the courtroom, uh uh. I can help myself. I ain't giving nobody no advice. I do my best to help myself. That's it. You know what I mean? That's it. Mm -mm. Moors know law. No, we don't. You ain't seen that one of them beat their case. You know what I mean? They, them Moors, Taj Tariq, you ain't never seen them in the court beating their case. You follow what I'm saying? That's right. You ain't seen that one of them beating their case. So don't be talking about them Moors, no law stuff. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Abazu talking about Moors, no law. Ain't nobody beating their case in 30 years. Taj Sharika Bay been around for 30 years. You ain't got one picture of him in the courtroom beating the case. But he out here teaching law. Go figure. I wonder if you needed heart surgery, would you get Taj Tariq? Because he said he was a heart surgeon. <laughs> okay, let's see. In some courts, the pre-sentence report is disclosed to the defendant, counsel for the defendant, and the counsel for the government before it is submitted to the judge. And I know on the state level, uh, uh, Zen Suna, on the state level, it's called a pre-sentence investigation. And the pre-sentence investigation is probably similar to that, is where they submit that to the judge so it'd be a recommendation for the sentence. But when I look at this, it's they got to send it to the probation department and then the pro and then submit it. Hold up, what that say again? Let me make sure. I might be wrong. It says there, yeah, counsel will send PSR, pre sentence report, objections to the probation office, like to the probation office. You know what I mean? Like in, in, in the state, you don't send it to the probation office. You actually, um, it's forwarded to the prosecutor or, you know what I mean, and to the judge. And that's how they determine the sentence. You know what I'm saying? But probation, maybe it's different in the um, federal federal situation. Maybe they got to forward it to the probation department and also forward it to the judge and the prosecutor. But I don't see why the probation department, if he ain't got probation. I mean. Or the sentence guidelines range contained in the pre-sentence report. Since soon, you sound like you know that 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 uh that that, that those stipulations. Did you go to the big college? You was you was in the Ivy Leagues. <laughs> Since sooner, you went to the Ivy Leagues. <laughs> I was at I I I I just went to went to the uh uh, uh to the local college, community college. <laughs> I went. I went to the historical black colleges. <laughs> now I, I said, I'm just playing. <laughs> See, I'm just playing. They said, I wish, <laughs> but <clears throat> that's what I say too. Show from the side. <laughs> He's an Aggie pride. Hey. I want all of y'all get claustrophobic. That way you don't go to the Ivy League or the uh, claustrophobia. That way you don't go to the Ivy League, nor do you go to the local college or the uh, historical black colleges. Just get, just get, just get claustrophobia. You ain't got nothing to worry about again. Hey, Ron Pearson said, if you don't kill someone, you're getting probation. Is that is that true with the feds too? And let me put this link in here. 
I got a few more things that I got to cover tonight, but let's see if somebody will come in and, and explain this to me about that. I wonder if feds give out halal meals. Not that I'm going to find out. Oh, right, man, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, worry. don't worry about it. Um. So, family, um, let me see. I got something else I wanted to share with you also. Hold up. I work for the administrative office of the college. <laughs> you was you was checking in the students. Show from the side. You was checking in the students. So so in in, in reality, show from the side. It looks like he's going to get probation. Is that what it looking like to you? Maybe somebody hit the link and help me out. I mean, it's looking like he's going to get probation. Um. Uh, how many people in here are familiar with, um, since I'm doing a random conversations tonight, how many people in here are, um, oh man, here's another one. Here's another meme. How many people are in here with uh, Dern? Anybody familiar with Dern? The guy that was trolling me one time and it's a guy named Ghost. Uh, I forget his name, man. Just, just beat the brains out Dern, the European Dern. Man, just beat the just beat the living brains out of me. He used to troll me. I haven't heard from him in a while. I hope he's all right. Um, but man, I mean, uh, uh, the guy from a uh, 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 ghost ghost something the channel. I, I'm, I'm subscribed over there. But man, he he put it out there that he was that he was with the rainbow people, and I mean, he put it all out there. And and I ain't heard from him that. I ain't heard from him since. Man, man he beat the he beat the bricks off this guy. They beat the brakes off him. And, and 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 I'm telling you, you got to have a friend. Go soldier. That's the thing. Go soldier. Now he beat the brakes off this guy. Oh, my goodness. Now him and his sister running in circles. So we need to do an update on him soon, too. We need to go back and do some updates. Anybody interested in that? Press 7 if y'all are interested in going backwards and do some updates. We need to do one on uh, uh, um, Delta. We need to find out what's going on with Delta. We need to find out what's going on with, um, that's a good idea for some shows. We need to know what's going on. We need to see what's going on with, uh, 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 Kern, I mean, Dern. We need to know what's going on with, um, uh-oh, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My attorney in the building, family. Hold on. Look like he's driving, too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a recap. Boy, did you come to attack me? Talking to me? Yeah, brother. Nah, peace. I ain't coming to attack you. Come on, man. Listen, oh. I got to make sure, brother, because you haven't talked to me in a while. This is my attorney right here. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen, listen. Me and him, me and him, hey, I'm trying to tell you. He be he going to get the real degree. He ain't playing with y'all, man. He going all the way to the top. He ain't getting the internet degree. Brother, how things going on uh, with your law, with your law uh, search? All right, to be some. To I help us uh, people that like to go to college. I should graduate next year, 2023. Hey, are you going to be, uh, and, and who you going to be representing? Anybody who pay? <laughs> there you go. Anybody who pay. So, so, so here go, here go my sister showing from the side. Brother, you got a minute? Yeah, I got a minute. All right, all right, let's let's be let's be gracious for my sister to come in. Sister, I love you. I love all the support that you gave. I'm so glad that you tapped in. I appreciate you, and may you always be blessed. Now, as I always you, say, but, as but I now, always, sis, mm -hmm. help mm -hmm. us to understand what you think is going on. Well, can you hear me? I can hear you well. Okay, okay. First of all, greetings and blessings to the people's grand sheep. The man that is known as the fraud buster. <laughs> come over hey, hold up, if hold up. Know. You see that? Issa, you see that? Yeah, I hear him. <laughs> you know, and, and don't get me wrong. You know, I feel that it is important for us to come together and be able to speak and have our viewpoints about what it is that we see out here in this world and this universe. You know, I have a real conversation, have a respectful conversation about it. I followed. Uh, this brother here for the last two years, I actually got up on him when he started doing the expose about uh, Grandmaster Jay, actually the subject that we're speaking about. And even though I, I uh, support a lot of conscious channels that talk about the things that, you know, concern our community, I really drawn to the brother, brother Taharka because uh, 
he's about the truth, even for him, for himself. In a sense, if he's wrong, he said, he always say, prove me wrong. If you prove me wrong, I'm going to take it back. And like I said, I've been on this channel, this journey with him and this lesson for about the last two years. And I have yet to see someone come and tell him that he was wrong. You and, know? and since let me say, we got my brother Isamadi on here. Isamadi, he actually watches both sides because he's familiar yes. with the Moorish conversation and he's familiar with the extra conversation with the yes. militia and stuff like that because, I mean, we've known each other quite some time through this social media medium. And so he can bear witness that I don't take shorts on either side. What I present is what I present. Um, and a brother called me today and he was really upset about what I presented about the Moors on my other channel. I hope you checked I it out. There. It was heavy, brother. It I was. mean, it was it was really heavy. Um, but it wasn't heavy to me, but it was heavy for those that believe in that stuff. Prophet right. Noble Ali went to uh, Egypt. Egypt. Prophet Noble Ali was Christian by a queen to become noble. All this old weird stuff. The George Washington in the cherry tree. All of this weird stuff. So I go into the deeper lessons on where these things come from or if they were just made up. And brothers got real emotional. And just like the sister just said, um, if you prove me wrong, I will apologize. And I'll take the video down. Yeah. There's not That's, one person that steps up to prove me wrong. You know, they cry. Mm -hmm. That's but they true. never do that. So, sis, do I, you think he's going on a probation route? Yeah, let, let me, when I said I work for the administrative aspect of college, I worked 13 years for the Circuit Court of Cook County here in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. I worked. I worked 11 years as a data entry operator and I used to process criminal and traffic bonds and traffic tickets. And I also used to do bond forfeiture notices, which are the last notice you get before they come out to pick you up and bring you back. Woo! And my last two years I spent as a field auditor out in their Skokie office in District 2, where all the bonds that were generated by the different townships, whatever was in District 2, whether it be Evanston, Skokie, Northbrook, anything that fell under District 2, those bonds came to me. I processed the fines and the fees, and I would send those physical bonds downtown so they could be processed. So therefore, if you were to do a refund, you would receive a check, but it had to go through that processing. So from what I've seen over my experience and what I have watched, if, if this has been dragging on this long, if it's been, first of all, he has, he has money to pay for a lawyer to drag it on that long because you got to be right. paying them in order to do that. Uh, if that's going to the probation office, they've already decided about that, I think. Yeah, the funny they... part about it is I've never seen, I mean, I, I just pay attention to cases. Like I said, I've never been uh, caught up in any type of federal situation or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But it seems like the federal system from friends that I know, it's always punctual. Boom, boom, yes. boom, boom, boom. I've never, yes. like when he was, when it was time for him to go to court, that court changed and it didn't even hit the docket. You're exactly. I mean, we searched the docket. I mean, it changed the, yeah. like, it, but the, I, I've never seen a federal case get logged back like this. It's always boom. Once they, it's once swift. you get that initial court date, it's on. Oh, it's, really blowing. it's rolling. I mean, I, I, I worked at the, you know, the, the county level and the state level. But when you get to the federal level, that's that's like real showtime. That's the big top. And when they come and they got something on you, nine times out of ten, you you you're you're going down behind it because they got that kind of legal team to research and dig up any and everything about you to present their case. So if they're trying to get all of these approvals from you know probate, I'm like, when you said that you saw what I put down to come, I'm like. Seems to me they've already decided they're discussing probation because you haven't had the trial yet. Am I correct? He had the trial, but this is the sentencing phase. Oh, yeah, so, he's getting probation. Yeah, he, this he is not, the sentencing not, phase. Right, because why would there be any consideration if that wasn't on the table? If he's going to get some time, the judge is going so to talk to him. So someone, Samir Salah, said, before I bring in, in my brother, Issa Salah, Samir says, a PSR report is done by the probation department to score guidelines. Uh, mm -hmm. then it is submitted to the court and prosecutor's offer. It does not mean he's going to get probation. Well, okay. the, whole thing, the whole thing is, is that uh, they submitted it to the court and they got a copy of it. Um, why are they challenging it? I mean, I don't uh, understand let me, that part. Let me interject. 
more than likely what happened is when they do the um, pre-sentence report, you have the opportunity to review it before it goes um, right uh, for sentencing. When they reviewed it, probation department might have put something that was wrong in there. Let's say, okay. let's say um, you was arrested and charged, but the charge was dismissed, or you were mm -hmm. found not guilty. Most of the time, people never go back to court to get the arrest, the arrest or the charge that was dismissed. Mm -hmm. um, expunged off your record, even though you. Right. And I got some of them too. That's why they say I beat right. up sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Where they call the police and it's just there, but it's, I never yeah. went to court. I never did anything. So what happens is that stays on your record when mm -hmm. they when they do your um NCIC National Crimination uh, Criminal Information Check, it comes up on your background. Some of the times these probation. Bro, I should have brought you on here when I was challenging people that say that I was uh what they say that I was on a national uh uh sex offender registry because they didn't know what they was reading. They didn't know what they was reading. In fact, they was checking these records and they were saying this record was checked, that record was checked. That the, and one of them on there is the NCIS. I'll reveal it now. But I wouldn't reveal it at first. I'm like, come on, come test me, come on, test me. And then I would really explain what they were looking at. You know what I mean? That means that they check that when they say, um, uh, 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 they say something, something sexual, uh, lifetime registration, it means that it was checked. It doesn't mean that I was one. You know, these <laughs> goofballs were saying it. I'm like, man, I'm trying to get somebody to challenge me, man. Somebody hold the thousand dollars, man, so we can build this Moore's Village. But when you say NCIS, they have that on the same paper too, because that's yeah, one. It's that's NCIC's national NCIC, yeah. criminal, criminal information check, and then the CIS is um, for sex offenders. Information for sex offense. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. But, um, and these goofballs say he's a he's a sex offender. You goofy, speak quiet. Yeah. But what happened is more than likely there's some information that he challenged on that pre-sentence report as as mm -hmm. uh not being factual okay. so the but why is the probation officer submitting a report they're the they're the ones who go when you in the feds the people who do your pre-sentence reports the probation department oh so once they do the report not only do they do your background check but well, they'll, been college like, before. they'll they'll talk now nah, i just had somebody i was helping that nah, that's on, to, actually they go tomorrow nah, they go they report for um for incarceration tomorrow but i was mm -hmm. assisting them hold up you said they go on incarceration oh yeah 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 they, 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 i don't know if i want you to be my attorney no more oh i didn't represent them you didn't listen to me. I, I, I was just telling him. Hold up now. Nah, you know what I mean? I was just telling him. Let me. Trouble the shot. I'm going to hold up nah, now. Nah, nah, nah. He's going back. I was, I was telling him. I'm too old to go to jail. <laughs> yeah, funny. I was telling him his, his options in the process, and uh, he kept telling me. The lawyer said, I said, listen, man, I, I'm related to you. I don't, I don't get, I'm not getting no money. I'm telling you the right thing. The lawyer going to tell you get get money off, you know what I'm saying? But he ended, he ain't listening. He ended up getting time. But um, mm. he had something wrong in his pre-sentence report. There was something wrong in it because he it was, he was found not guilty of something, and they still put it in there. And when they challenged it, probation didn't want to take it off. So mm. when the judge when he went for sentencing, the judge still brought it up, even though he was found not guilty of this. It was used against him. So now he could appeal his sentence, you know, because it was based upon a for um false information when the judge if the judge says to harker bay i'm a i'm a um yeah everybody said good stuff about you but see you was charged and arrested and you had a a, a, a conviction for domestic assault back in 1996 so you ain't so good everybody thinks you're good you're not so good right and then see i'm gonna give you a year when he did when he does that because you were actually never found guilty of that, and he said right. that during the sentencing, you could you could appeal the sentence based upon he used that in, in in sentencing you to a year, and the appeal depends. Sometimes it'll take up to a year. It just depends on their dockets, but usually within six months. The process so why, so, so 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 check this out, show for the job. If there was some discrepancy, why didn't he just leave it there and use it for a point of appeal and get back out? Yeah, it's called a raise a wave. You have to raise it a wave. If you don't raise raise the issue, okay. Okay. But do you think to bring up all points? You know, 
that that's why you got your that's why you got your legal legal team and you got your attorney supposed to be able to strategize and catch all points because that's but, what the um, prosecution doing. I don't know if you all oh, Jam Master J has a criminal record. If he doesn't have a he criminal does. record, he does. Yeah, yeah, he got a criminal record. Unfortunately, I, I will have to announce this. Um, he pulled out a he pulled out a gun on his wife um, and a staff sergeant in the military. Was he found guilty of it? Yeah, and he was uh, and he was um, court martialed. It, yeah, he was put out the military. Wow! But um, then he got back in the military. That's the weird thing about it. And ultimately, he was in the military for seventeen years. Wow! In the military, they go under the uniform code of military justice. And it's a whole different system. He might he might have appealed that conviction and won, and was able to reenlist. Um, because I believe when he was interviewed before, he said he had an honorable he had an honorable discharge. So he might have appealed that and won, and was able to get back in there. But if he does have any convictions, each conviction gives you points. So if it's a misdemeanor, it carries a certain amount of points. If it's a felony, it carries another amount of points. They add those points up, and that gives you your sentencing um, guideline range. So the range might say probation, uh, house arrest. Oh, he went up. He be back. Yeah, he got you on house arrest now. Keep playing with Grandmaster J. Uh, <laughs> you all right? He now wanted I, to finish his point. That's how he be back. Now, 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 with all that being said, do you still think he's going to get probation, sis? I think so. Yeah. 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 I mean, like I, I said. I don't think he I, did anything. I'm, I'm, I'm just me. I don't <laughs> think. I'm just, I think, I think he was working for them people. I that's just it. I think, and I think he, I do think he overstepped the authority that they gave him. I do think because he was going wild, like he was. He went feeling, rogue. Yeah. He went rogue. He That's didn't, what I he feel didn't, too. He didn't follow according to the plan. I mean, like I said, That's you exactly. laid it all out. That's why people I felt was really getting upset, and you know, thinking about it, people looking for someone to lead without realizing Grand Sheik that the leaders within themselves, and we just cohesively get together and walk the same path. Right. You don't have to. I mean, of course, we have someone in place who is wise, who studies that we can learn from. That is right. the point. You understand? That's the point. But if you're just blindly following someone because deep in your heart, you know, you just all the oppression, all the violence, all of these. And things, that's what happened with this. You, you, you trying to grab, you know, you're trying to grab at a branch, you know, and I'm not knocking those people. I've never looked down on those people. Who have followed him because even when I first saw it, the thing in Stone Mountain, Georgia, and I saw all those brothers marching. Now, what it represented to me, it represented a unification. You understand? At least that's what I'm I'm thinking. Yeah, and, and, and then they look good, for our no. community and, and saying that hey, we're here and we care about our community and we're gonna do all we can to protect it, but then it evolved into what? A media. A media. And, 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 and I had a video. I, if you don't mind sticking around for a second, like mm -hmm. I had a video right right here that I mm -hmm. wanted to um, share if I can find it real quick. Um, and maybe I can find it right here real quick. It's under, I think it's in here. Um, but it's a video. So, so you hear that video right there. He said, if you didn't come out here ready to blase, blase somebody else, you can leave now. What leader in, like, like, okay, first of all, what direction are we going? <laughs> because that's Stone Mountain. That's the first march. And that the first march, this is, this is what he said. At the first march. That's rogue off the top. That's you rogue think that's the, the approach? You really think that was the approach? 
Now I've heard Huey P. Now you know the Black Panthers that everybody wants to to emulate. I remember them as a kid. I'm sixty. Okay, right. I'm sixty. So a lot of things people read about in the book and learned, you know, fake learned in school and stuff. I remember some of these these uh, situations in time and history. And what I remember about you know the Elders Cleaver and Huey P. But definitely Fred Hampton. It was about the unification of our communities, being able to be self-sufficient within our communities. When, when he stood up to the racist police here in Chicago, he said, I am a revolutionary. Hmm. Please. At hmm. that time in 1970, 69, when I was what? I was eight. I was eight years old. I remember that. I lived, I lived not far from where he lived. I lived at 1853 South Springfield in North Lindale. He stayed over on 15th and Hamlin someplace, I believe. Okay, sure. same same street that Martin Luther King used to stay in a two flat on 1500 South Hamlin that they tore down when it became abandoned instead of it being a landmark. As much work as he used to do in Chicago because Chicago is one of the most polarized cities in the United States, even though the community that I happen to live in, that I've lived in uh, the majority of my adult life is called Rogers Park. Over 69 languages are spoken here. Wow. Yeah, I was aware of that. Yes, over 69 languages. The high school I used to work at, Sullivan High School, for every student that came from another country that attended school there, there's a flag up there and there's over 40 some flags hanging up all the way from Russia to China to Belize, Nigeria, Jamaica. Yeah, El Salvador. And I raised, oh, and I raised my children in this environment because you know what? They got to compete with everybody in the world. It's gun zone, right? You know, they had to compete with everybody in the world, Grand Sheik, because when they go out here to work and do and my first child is I
Am I back in the building? Am I back in the building? Let me see. Dang. Am I back in the building? Oh, man. Can y'all see me? Check one, check two. I don't know what happened. I, you know what I had to do? First Works Media, brother, I need to talk to you, First Works Media. Brother, First Works Media better stop watching in the background and, and, and email me. We got to have a talk, First Works Media. That's right. We're going to be talking about the, uh, the minister. Uh, I need somebody to talk to me uh, uh, about the next step for the NOI. Yeah, where you at? <laughs> First Works Media, that's my guy, man. Y'all made him mad at me, man. Y'all be making people mad at me, too. First Works Media is my brother. He's the first one that could disagree with me and do it with a with, with, with passion and smile, and, and then he just disappeared on me, man. Man, look, I don't know if we want to attack this subject matter. <laughs> Y'all show you want to attack this subject matter. Huh? Huh? Y'all sure? All right. If my if my if my computer if my computer start start smoking, I mean out the back, you know where that fan, that little fan. Now, yeah, I need when I say when I say hit the cash app. Don't do me like y'all do Sarnetta. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't do like y'all do Sarnetta. The chat be 300 people and then it just go down to 50. Uh-uh, hit that cash app. <laughs> we need a new computer. <laughs> Y'all told me to keep going. That you know I mean? <laughs> like, don't do that. Don't do y'all like y'all do Sardetta. Because he be he be trying to milk y'all for, 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 for weeks and weeks. I just say, listen, it's smoking now. <laughs> help me out. That's right. Help me out. Don't, don't start disappearing on me. I need you. Um, so, so my brother, my brother, Cryptonomics say Grandmaster Jay was fighting to pre to prevent his historical crimes from being used in the Fed trial. Uh, he said, I believe he won that right, and that's probably what is being used against him for the pre-sentence uh, report. And he's probably trying to get it out of the report. It makes sense to me. That makes sense. He didn't get a sentence. He didn't get a sentence. Um, he postponed it. And it looks like he postponed it because he's trying to, this is what we surmise, that he's trying to get information correct in the pre-sentence report um, with the probation officer or the probation office, according to the report. I'll show it again just for good measure. Um, it says, the court grants defendant motion to continue sentencing hearing. Oh, let me get over here. Motion to continue sentencing hearing and reschedule hearing on 8-22-22, which is today, to 11-9-22 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time in Louisville Courthouse. The court extends the following deadline, the following deadlines from its 6-16-22 order Council will send PSR pre-sentencing report objections to the probation office by 10-1. Council must confer regarding the scope of the hearing by 10-20-22. The probation officer will submit the PSR to the court by 10-30-22 and the parties must follow must file sentencing memorandum by 11 4. all right so everything must be in by 11 4 and they're going to adjudicate on 11 9. that's what it is that what it is sound like same thing for jamal rise of the more you know they saying that jamal uh, Uh, 
objection phase is the PSI corrections. <laughs> we got attorneys in the building tonight. That's right. That's right. What's up, Ukata? Y'all see this? He must be in the in the guidelines range for prison time. Oh, so it seemed like Dr. Carissa is saying that in that report that they put out, it puts him in the guideline for prison time. And they trying to get him out that guideline. Is that right? Is that right, Carissa? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch Jamal too, Rise of the Moors. We're gonna watch him too. King Moab, send me anything you got. We gotta watch that too. Because it was kind of abruptly how he got out. Oh yeah, okay. She said that's what it is then. He trying to get out that he trying to get out that guideline. I mean, uh oh, here we go. We still stranded strong. NFAC for life. That's right, brother. Stand strong, brother. Stand strong. I appreciate y'all, man. I just don't want y'all following the wrong leadership and going in the wrong direction. You know what I mean? Marching and screaming crazy stuff with no real program, no real direction, man. That ain't going to do nothing but get all y'all locked up, shot, killed, um, and laid on the side of the road. I mean, uh, build, bring, bring, uh, uh, if NFAC is, is, is going to uh, rebuild itself, Get off the internet and start building. You know what I mean? Or use the internet to bring people and then silently or quietly go ahead and build what you're gonna build. But I mean that that all that stuff on the MO, all that stuff on the internet, shoot this person, kidnap that person, and all that could get this person. You and K Mooney, um, or money, you and K Money, I mean to say, pardon me, K Money, you and K Money can probably rebuild this thing. Uh, uh, until GMJ get off probation. You know what I mean? Y'all can do it. I know you can. That's right. Genuine vibes say, are you real leadership? I don't I, I don't know if you're talking to me, but um, let me see. Let me see. Anybody can hit the link. Let's see if anybody can hit the link. So, so again, family, it looks like Grandmaster J didn't go to court today. He didn't go to court today. And according to our resident doctor, uh, Dr. Carissa, he's trying to stay in the guidelines to get out of prison. And so there's something in his pre-sentence report that possibly could land him in prison. And he doesn't want to go there. That's right. That's right. Um, let's see if we can. Man, they was, they was messing me up with that. Uh, 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 terrible. Hold up. I got one for you. Let me see. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the file. Let's go to the file. Let's go to the file. Let's see what I got here. Let's go to the file. What's this? What? It says GFC. GFC. It's gun zone, right? Okay, gun free zone right there. I'm sorry. Yes. So you mean to tell me it's, it starts here? Here. Yep. Okay. So we're going to have it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Y'all see? And this is the thing. I mean, this is the thing about what I was watching, and now we can look back and see. There is no liberation movement that acts like this. Liberation movements that's fighting oppression, this is not. This is a march, clearly a march. It's live. That's where it's not. That's where you go. So we that's the line we don't. That's the line you don't. Okay, now we got a whole pocket. I mean, what are we doing now? Yes. Here's the deal, right? Walking, walking around. Everybody in this room. So on that stage, everybody. They got clear instructions. They got clear instructions. And this is why I'm telling you, I believe that he went rogue because he tells you himself that himself that he had talked to the people. They had clear instructions. Look at him breaking it down to him. Look at this. This is why, this is why they had to pull him out. They told him what to do and what not to do, and he did what he wanted to do. 
We clearly see it right here. Yeah, I want it for the nobody. Yeah, yeah, right. So what's, what's going to happen? We're, we're, we're going to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're gonna be, we just can't do it now because of the traffic. But it, it, it'll be shut off. Okay. We got some time. That's going to be shut off. I got and now they know these brothers are, are, are not, I don't mean, I don't mean to belittle anybody that took it serious, but whoever that was conducting this, the, the, the brothers that was in the button up shirts and all of that, they knew that they didn't take this stuff serious. Nobody took this stuff serious. That's why I reported on it from day one. This is the reason why I reported on it from day one, because I seen it wasn't legitimate and I seen that it had the potential to lead bright, intelligent, strong minds down the wrong path by the way of tugging on their emotional heartstrings because of the oppression that had been dealt towards our people. Look at this. Hey, Sergeant Mayfield, how you doing, man? Yeah. Uh, we didn't have. Which one? Okay. The protected barriers. Okay. 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 I hope y'all are watching this closely because it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff in these videos that if we go back and really watch it, there's a lot of stuff that we missed that we shouldn't have missed. You see what I'm saying? That now I'm telling you, y'all go see y'all go see all the whole game change in 2023. You watch what I tell you. This did something. This changed the game. You know what I'm saying about uh, um. Uh, uh, gun clubs and I'm telling you people that got themselves into this this changed the game you watch what I tell you you watch what I tell you this is gonna change the so game going, everybody's clear well that can be right there and then we'll we'll start the route nobody on the roof of these buildings so listen even in this video he says did y'all just hear that listen loud nobody on the roof of these buildings what did he just say <clears throat> Somebody type in what he just said. They know the protocol off off the top. This is why I'm telling you it was set up. But he took it too far. Listen to this. That's what he said, Crip. Nobody on the roof of these buildings. They already knew this stuff. And this is the reason why I covered it, because I could see through it early. I could see through it early. Everybody was mad at me. Everybody said I was wrong. Now I'm telling you, just because he ended up getting locked up, that's an indication that he went left. Because everything else was scripted. Everything else was scripted. Now, now, who can be mad at me now from NFAT? I know we still got some faithful subscribers and followers of MFAC. But come on, man. Anybody that was in the inner circle know that this was scripted. Yeah, they know that this was scripted. Watch this. And it's so unfortunate, right? That if you watch close, somebody say, Why is he wearing white sneakers? Zen, or Zen Zuna say, Why is he wearing white sneakers? There's one thing that I always point out about these agents or these informants. They always wear something that'll stand out amongst to set them apart from everybody else. And in his 
possibly with that oh, white this, 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 like who is all black it, with it, white yeah. sleeves? Well, because the cage is a set, and every I like the I like the layout, but it's a yeah. cage. We're in there, and there's something developed. Like right. who dresses up in all black with bright white sleeves? And, and and what I think around. is yes. where one can see from some binoculars checking them out. Make sure that if something was to happen, they know what side is playing with what side. Some of this is The other one was to come straight from the street and take them straight in. So they're going to stand right in front of them. Okay. Oh, you can use that stage right there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming that's where we're going yeah, to be. Right here. That's good. That's right. good. You got it. Yeah, so right. what's going to happen is you're going to filter it right here. This is planning a march. This ain't fighting oppression. Like, no matter what happened, this is planning a march. This is not fighting oppression. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Look at the map, and it goes down and comes in. Better if we come straight in. This is gonna, this is gonna be shut off. For and that's where we're gonna let everybody, and that's gonna be behind you. That's right here, and that's where you're gonna have business. Okay, let's roll, y'all. 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 let us Absolutely. That this is a march. This ain't no this ain't fighting oppression. Look at it. Yeah, I, and, and, and now people have to look back and say, you know what? Dag talk, man, you got a point. But you ain't have to say it like that. Because many people get mad because they were actually participating. I mean, look at the European right there in the, in the purple. I mean, in the, in the orange. Y'all see that? Right there in the orange. This is going to be a... Mr. Y'all see this? Unbelievable. And I got I got a lot of footage uh, uh, from from my research that, that haven't been put public yet. But a lot of this stuff is is very obvious now that you look back. It was obvious to me. You know I mean, it was obvious for me because I'm like, man, ain't nobody fighting no pressure like this. What is he talking about? Even like this right here, this was this was odd for me too. He's talking to a congressman. Now, nobody thought that that was all that he's talking to a congressman. He's just a live streamer. He just, that's not how congressmen talk to each other. That's not, that's not how politicians talk to each other on a cell phone and all that. They, they set up a meeting and they meet like normal people do when they handle the business of this magnitude. Position in your, in your grievance, which you have the right to air, and uh, we, would, we would let the Lord guide us. So that was my intention. It was for all a show. There's a lot of moving parts to this thing, and I understand that. Uh, however, it was important that well, Congressman, I don't want to be disrespectful to you either, but just out of, you know, in the military, we're always told when in doubt, give them the highest rank until someone tells you different. Uh, so uh, because yeah, I... Be because I re and I've made that mistake quite a few times. Um, so out of respect for the position that you hold in the House of Representatives, uh, I addressed you as for the due respect of the position that you hold as the Supreme Commander of the NFAC uh, and, and this entire militia. Uh, for the sake of us getting to a point where we're comfortable, uh, I throw away titles. Uh, you know how we do in the military. We're by last name. 
Um, in this particular instance, I'm not going to call you Clay, and if you call me Jay, they're going to think we're hanging out together. So what we're going to do here, if you're going to stay Mr. Higgins, and I'll stay Mr. Johnson, and no one gets confused. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's perfectly cool. Um, again, I just want to be respectful. So, um, listen, we could meet. Uh, I'm happy to have you in my, in my home. Uh, He's going to invite him in his home. Welcome in, in his home. Y'all see how crazy this is? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. And y'all still believe just because he got locked up that he wasn't playing the game. Man, he's probably home watching this video right now. Commission and post certified peace office. I've maintained that certification since 2004. Get out of because he's home watching to Hawker Bay right now. Beautiful moment that we potentially have. I will only be armed with the Lord's word. The King James. He said he'd be armed with the Lord's word. Version is my is my preferred word, and I was thinking. Your sir, and what, 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 what God you worship and how, I do not know. Um, but I just want you to know that that I will be um, quite contrary to like a normal day for me. I'm, I'm armed at all times. But but to meet with you, you, you of course, I recognize your Second Amendment rights. Be armed in, in every earthly manner. And I have no problem with that, including into my own. But I, I will only be armed with the, with, with the, with the spiritual weapon. Hey, <laughs> there. Check him out. <laughs> Take your logos down. If you want to know what I'm doing, I'm looking at your profiles and I'm writing down the names of every profile that doesn't have an interfacey logo. <laughs> if you want to know what I'm doing, I'm... who does this, man? <laughs> who does this, man? I still believe this stuff, man. Shanika 2432. Shanika 24. This guy's a. <laughs> Shanika two four three two. Grandmaster J, sentencing hearing has been postponed. I'm writing down the names of every profile that I see that doesn't have the logo. Now, this is what I thought was very suspect too. He was telling everybody who support NFAC or is a part of NFAC, put the logo on their profile. Take that picture down and put up the logo. And I told everybody that that was a way of tracking also. Because now, digitally, it can be recorded. All of those that's in cyberspace that has that logo in the name of NFAC, now you can be put in the database also at a later date. It's all about information collecting. It's all it's all about. I warned you. So so now he's playing like if you if you are in the chat 
and he and he used to have a thousand over a thousand people in the chat if you are in the chat and you don't have the logo he's faking like he's writing the name down you follow me so he can get people to put that logo on watch him you will be blocked and banned and permanently. there is no way with the chats that he used to command that you would be able to write down that type of information and be accurate as he faking like he's doing. He's randomly grabbing names. Yes, there's sound. I'm not talking. I'm writing down the names of all of the profiles. You heard him. He said, yes, the there's sound. He's not talking. He's writing down all the names. <laughs> You are telling on yourself this morning. You are me. telling on yourself. You didn't have the logo. But look, watch it. Plus a few of you all, I already have information on me. You're traders. You're two-faced traders and you're sitting up in here like we stupid enough and don't know who you are. We now, do. Now notice, now notice, Grandmaster Jay is building his movement by the way of social media interfacing, but then have the ability to say that people are traitors and he don't know them outside of their social media handle or how they interface on IG or YouTube. And he calls them traitors. Like he would, like what? What? Yeah, y'all kill me playing these silly ass right, street but games. Right, but people that the world. made the streets. All you got to do, all you got to do, is screen capture it. So we gonna clean house this morning. All theatrics. I got to say, who got the list now? You know who got that list? Like all you got to do is look at the phone and then just. Uh, uh, what People they call say it? they watch facts over feelings. They say they watch the morning mental, but then they turn around and do stuff that tells me they just, they're lying. <laughs> yeah, so this like morning, really before I begin, you know, I'm writing this is down the name that people of everybody who doesn't have. The NFAC logo, as I instructed, told you don't come back into this live without it. <laughs> This guy's a nut job. Man, I know some of y'all looking like, man, I was following this. <laughs> yeah, he was. But I'm glad you caught yourself. Where K Foss at? Anybody seen K Foss? Look at this. All right. So let's get down to business. All of this is on IG now. All right. Let's get down to business. The reason that I jumped on the live, this is not facts over feelings. This is not the morning mental. This is none of that. This is me dealing with business. This is business, family. On the internet. A militia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I got fifteen profiles right now that are set for blocking and deletion from this page. Yesterday I asked each and every one of you all to put up the NFAC logo in support of the operation in Lafayette, Louisiana. A few of you all did that right away, and I commend you for that. But just like I told you, there's always two reasons for why I do certain things. Some people think that they can get away with, pardon the language, the fuckery, because they think they can hide behind our logo. So I told you all to put the logo up just to see how many white people and people who really are contrary to the NFAC mission would jump on board thinking that we would be too stupid to pick you out and then watch you run around and try to befriend everybody that put up an NFAC logo. If you've been following me for quite some time, you know I'm prone to doing things that are. All of this business is done via IG. A militia now that is founded on fighting oppression. Unexpected. Well, this is one of them. This is just like mask on, mask off that we did three months ago.
This exercise is over. All NFAC logos should come down now. Now we're going to see exactly who's who. You know, all those people that followed you last night and befriended you last night because they were hiding behind the NFAC logo. You know, all those people that thought that they could sneak in under the radar because I told y'all to put up the NFAC logo and now they don't jump in your inbox and your DM so they can continue to try to break up the organization. Now you will see how many of them are going to disappear. There are to be no NFAC logos during this exercise. Take them down. Oh, it's mass off right now. Yeah, it's mass off right now. You learned how to put it up. You can now learn how to take it down. I don't need you all flying our logo. I need you to join the NFAC. Or if you want to finance the 55,000 man army, go ahead and throw in 10, $20, whatever you think you want to do. Not to me, but to the NFAC website. We don't care about that. So let me let me go back again because somebody want to ask a question that uh, what happened. So again, family, um, for those who just joined us, just want to share with you that the court grants the defendant a motion to continue sentencing hearing and reschedules the hearing uh, on 822, which is today, to 11922. The court extends the following deadlines of his 61622 order. Council will send PSR pre-sentence report objections to the probation officer by 10-1. So they're going to wrap all of this up by 11-4 and they're going to adjudicate on 11-9. All right. Just in case, let me see what else we got here before I get out of here. It, it, I didn't have a big report. Um, hold up. Let me see something. I didn't have a big report because it really wasn't not much to report. Anybody remember this guy? Whatever happened to this guy? What happened to this guy? Who remember this guy? Anybody remember this guy? Whatever happened to this guy? Remember this guy? He went crazy. He was making videos about me. <laughs> he tried to bait me. Wait, where, where are these people at? Where are all these people at? Remember this guy? What happened? And that's what that's that's what gets me. That's what gets me. All of this support, and they was ride or die. They were attacking me. And then, out of the blue, silence. Silence. Let's look him up real quick. Let me see. I think that was called um, what was his thing in the black in the black radio. I think it was something like that. In the it was like talk black to me. Let me see if I can pull him up. Let's see what he talking about. They went silent. And that's another thing that blew me away, that these people just came out of nowhere, started making video. I mean, they were going strong. They were going strong and fighting in the cause um, of Grandmaster J. They was going strong and then just disappear. Look at this. That shows you, I mean, that he had a um, some type of uh, campaign there it is, nine months ago, and just stopped, nothing. Now look, he tried to talk about uh, uh, the sister, um, what's the sister where they try to throw, the, throw her under the bus, man, I forget her name. Like the sister too, I was just looking at, what's her name, hold on, she in here somewhere. This is the one. Proof, Jam. Grandmaster J is not an agent. Remember that? Then he tried to disrespect the sister, man, that was helping Grandmaster J out. I'm going to see if I can find that real quick. Um, History made. <laughs> Dang, man. So, yeah, it was, it was one sister in here. I'm a little under the weather, but yeah, but he just stopped out of nowhere. He just stopped and just disappeared. Our petition for Grandmaster J just made national news. Uh, uh, uh. Black formation in London. What happened to London? Y'all remember that? What happened to the people overseas? Y'all remember that? Oh, Rosemary, Miss Rosemary. Shout out to Miss Rosemary Parker. I mean, he put a video exposed. 
Miss Rosemary Parker. She the one that tried to help Grandmaster J before she before she just washed her hand and kept it moving. But what happened to London? Y'all remember the London guy? The African London looking guy? We used to wear the blue. Y'all remember him? What happened? What happened to all these people? It seemed like everybody just went back into the background. I'm in London and the leading, and the one leading it here has been in communication with a <laughs> counselor. I'm in London. I'm in London. Uh, is it me you call? I'm in London, and I'm the one that's leading here. I have been in communication with the Grandmaster J. Any questions? <laughs> hey, the one in, the one in London was was a week after Kentucky March. I'm in London. Let me see. Grandmaster J said I ran, reached out to him for support. <laughs> yeah, I need to get tired for that. I need to get tired for that. Well, anyway, family, um, tomorrow, I just wanted to check in with you. And again, ain't no real new developments, but I really wanted to check in, in with you to just um, put you on point as to what's going on tomorrow, family. Tomorrow, I will be on Moorish World TV 7. All right. I will be on Moorish World TV 7. I hope to see y'all there. Um, it's going to be a, it, it, it's going to be, it, it might be a debate or it might be a conversation that appears to be a debate. You know what I'm saying? But I will be on Moorish World TV 7. Um, let me screen share just to show you where I'm going to be at tomorrow on a Moorish conversation that everybody got heated over that I did on my other channel. Let me see one second. Hold on. How you do this? Oh, let me stop screen sharing. This is what I couldn't do. All right. All right. So on my other channel, Moorish World TV 7 that I'm building, I didn't block her. She tell her. Tell Sister Elise, Elise to send me her uh, YouTube page. I didn't block her. I don't block people unless they cuss me out. She never cussed me out. So right here. So I did this presentation. The age of 16. I did this presentation uh, on, um, what was this? Okay, so here, here, here is the part right here. I did this presentation on lies that was told by past Moorish leaders that the Luther Prophet Noble Drali's teaching. And so this book right here was written by this brother here who's no longer with us, uh, may rest in power. Um, I find some discrepancies in this book called The Resurrection as it relates to the history of Prophet Noble Drali. Well, when I put it out there, um, there was a lot of people mad. I got Tons of calls. Um, <laughs> I mean, somebody, Jay, Jay Hammer said you was on fire. So I got tons of calls. I was sitting in a brother's temple today, discussing it with him. So tomorrow, I'm going to be sitting with an elder statesman in the Moorish movement, uh, Brother Prather L, Supreme Grand Sheik Prather L. I'm going to be sitting with an elder statesman, and he wants, to, he said he would debate me, but I don't want to debate him. Basically, I really don't want to debate. What I want him to do is answer some of the questions that I pose. Now, I feel as though it's going to get heated because I'm not going to let him dance around the answers. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to let him dance around the answers. I'm not. No, nah, I'm going to. I want a direct answer. I want yays be yays and no's be no's. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to yays be yays, no's be no's. And um, I don't know if he can do it, but we'll find out tomorrow. So, family, if you are uh, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You're going to see me in rare Moorish American form tomorrow. You know what I mean? The passion that you see here. 
<laughs> when you started throwing out them dates, Wilson wasn't even president yet. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the, the passion that you see here is going to be live tomorrow. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be what it is tomorrow. Tell you when to know. I'm telling you when to know. I'm telling you when I know. So I'm hoping I see y'all in that tomorrow. Because listen, this is a short notice. <laughs> you know, a great researcher, a great researcher, we research from all angles. We just don't grab one thing and then we go to that. We just don't do that. We research from all angles. Somebody say, how do I feel about copyright authority? I'm going to address that too, Moab. I don't, copyright authority to me personally, and I'll break that down um, on my next I'm going to break that down on my next uh, Sunday show, possibly. Or maybe I'm going to Wednesday or something on there. I'm going to do one of these shows. with, But no, I don't believe th Copyright Authority had any leverage in the Moorish movement. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. So we're supposed to be starting at 6, but we're probably going to start at 7. I don't believe Copyright Authority gives anyone any leverage in the Prophet Noble Drew Ali's Moorish Science Temple of America. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. You hear what I say, King Moab? And I can prove it. Actually, I can prove it. I can prove it. I'm not just saying this. I can prove it. It doesn't give anybody more leverage over anybody else. That's right. But I'm going to ask some of the pertinent questions. But you know what's going to happen? They're going to start lining around the room. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about after that one. Oh, Prathel didn't know what he was talking about. They didn't know what he was talking about. I mean, but I can break down copyright authority. I can run circles around what copyright authority is and what it means to the Moorish movement and what it don't mean. I can run circles around that. You know what I'm saying? My problem is, is that when people get mad, they don't prove me wrong. They get mad and get heated. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it feel like I, 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 I don't want to leave my family and go to college. But, but you know what I mean? But People be getting mad to get heated, but Brother Pray the L, he's not like that. I don't see him like that. I see him as an elder statesman. I see him as a respectable uh, statesman. And I and I see him as one who can take these hard questions, take it on the chin, bam, answer, or maybe not able to answer. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people get in their emotions and their passions when we deal with information that they have been following for quite some time. It's like people who spent their money to follow Grandmaster Jay. They spent that money and, and, and the money is gone. But now you got somebody like me sitting in a chair, looking into a computer, I mean, looking into a, a computer camera, talking about what they did or what they didn't do, critiquing it. And they get pretty mad about that. I mean, just like those who are uh, 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 with uh, um, Malik Zulu Shabazz. And then on Wednesday, what's today? Today is Monday, right? I'm right. Yeah, we're going to go every day this week, but I, you know what? I might do it on both channels. I might do it on both channels. I think I might do it on both channels. Yeah, I might have to stream that on both channels. We got to turn that up. Um, And then on Wednesday, on Wednesday, we're going to be back on Malik Zulu Shabazz. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, those who have the, um, let me stop this real quick. We're going to talk about those who have the, um, who got that tag with them. Remember I showed the sister um, that is his, edu his educated department or something like that. And she chummy chum up with the child, a uh, 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 molester guy. Okay, I got another one for you. When we ended the show, we was talking about this post that was put up there, and he and he shared a post from somebody. I mean, <laughs> I wasted some good time watching Grandmaster Fraud, Mike Jones. So, so look, so we're going to show, just like I showed with that lady, um. That is the education department people. 
over there at the New Black Panther Party. We're going to show some more of his acquaintances that are, what shall I say, compromised on Wednesday. With that being said, family, thank you for the fire, the side, the uh, fireside chat tonight. We didn't have a whole lot to give you, but we gave you what we had. And what we had is that they postponed it, and I fell for the okie doke. I got fish, um, what they call it, fishnet. <laughs> I got, I got tricked. I thought for sure something was going down, and ain't nothing was going down. So all of us got tricked. So I peace, peace and love you. And I'm going to tell you, tomorrow is going to be heated. I'm going to drink some tea, make sure I get my yelling right. Go, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> the private overdraw lease said, <laughs> I'm the people's grand chief. Hold up. <laughs> I got to exercise my yelling. I got to get it ready for tomorrow. You know what I mean? So I hope to see y'all in the building tomorrow. We're going to get busy. Um, <laughs> I got exercise by yelling, all right? But I appreciate y'all, family. Tomorrow is going to get right. It's going to get right, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, I might do it here, or I might do it there. Just go there and to subscribe. You know what I mean? Just go and subscribe, but it's going to get right tomorrow. Peace and love, family. You know I appreciate you. Uh, uh, I ain't going to let you down. Shout out to, to Sean from the Shire for checking in. I appreciate you, sis. Appreciate you. Thank you. Blessings. Blessing for you. Shout out to Issa Madi for checking in. And shout out to the Morris Road TV citizens, each and every one of you. If I don't say your name, Nikki Love, I seen you in the building today. But each and every one of you, you know I appreciate you. And you know I love you. But man, sisters, we need to put these frauds on Front Street so the young generation don't fall for the okie doke that I or you or many other people have fell for. They don't need to fall for it no more. Peace and love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. I be that more you gon' remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number. Hey. I be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. That's right. I be that more you gon' remember to all the bay front line till the law call my you number. If you a friend of the Moors, then you a friend of mine. I was told to watch my enemies, now hold my line. Those who speak against the prophet, they speak against me. And I'm speaking about the prophet over Drew Ali. Who was the first to remind you and bind you back to Morocco, the mountains, Mississippi, and Quebec? Told you you wasn't black. Prove it with straight facts. You tripping off drugs, you need to be tripping off that. Now here we go again. Like you a slave. This <laughs> Family, see y'all tonight, 9:30. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. I be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. I be that more you gon' remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law 